On the heels of Xbox finding itself amidst another controversy, hashtag placeholder gate, is it a fair assessment to say that Xbox is lying to gamers about the Series X and what to expect? Hmm, let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy is dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. Um, So, I mean, I get it. I get it. Trust me. As someone that used to be a former Xbox enthusiast, since the original Xbox came out. You know, uh, y what y'all know about them frag parties and stuff, man? I've been there since the beginning, pretty much. I wasn't a beta tester like, like Z and some others, but I was there, you know, pretty much since the beginning. Um, And then went into like one of my, I, I, I wanna say it's a tie for first, maybe, favorite generations of gaming, which was last gen, with um, you had hits like Bioshock, uh, Mass Effect, Fallout, you know, Rainbow Six, a bunch of other games, you know what I'm saying? Borderlands. And I love that generation, which was last generation. And I enjoyed it all on Xbox. Going now into this generation to where, yeah, they had a rocky start. I think a lot of it was over-exaggerated because people had agendas. They had a change of the guard. And me personally, I just don't agree with the change of the guard. I don't I don't feel like that they're, they're catering to me, the type of gamer that I am. The, the original Xbox did that way back then. They did it last gen. This one ain't so much. Now, a lot of people say to me, MM2K, Xbox is going to do better. They just had to have a law because they had to build up the troops, build up the forces. Now, in my opinion, I don't believe that. I just think that they're changing the guard and they're being vague about it and they're being misleading about it because, again, they don't want to tell a section of gamers that it's helping propel them at the moment they don't want to tell them we're no longer for you they want you to keep coming to the restaurant they're going to want to keep telling you yeah i know you used to come here for the cheeseburgers but all we got is the, the ground chicken you know what i mean the cheeseburgers are coming though y'all but until then enjoy the ground chicken you know what i'm saying I, I feel like it's one of those situations now at the end of the day i'm not in the boardroom i've been a in boardrooms but i'm not in this one so I i'm not a future uh, a, a future teller i don't know i could be wrong and i hope i'm wrong but my experience and things that I've been looking at tell me otherwise. But again, I, I, that assumption could be wrong. And the people that are arguing with me, the Dirk Griggities and, and, and others, you know, good close friends of mine that don't go too far off the reservation for crying out loud. There's a lot of y'all that do, oh my God. I, I could, we could never have this discussion. But people like that Dirk, people on w, uh, WBG, We Bleed Green, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they could be right and I could be wrong. Anyway, anywho, with all that said, I said all that to say this. I went on that rant to say this. I am not a full Xbox enthusiast, but I caution you out in the community, those that have some tenure that will recognize, please be very leery on certain textbook definitions that you use or how you try to rearrange textbook definitions of particular words because that misleads the unsuspecting gamer and you know this platform, you know my channel, I'm all against that, all right? Check your emotions at the door, come through the threshold with the truth. What the hell am I talking about? I am simply talking about this. You see this article by IGN? Xbox downplays mysterious fable and perfect dark social accounts, okay? This is an article that talks about what I like to call placeholder game. <laughs> where uh and it, it's a, it's a minor you know it's, it's a trivial thing but again xbox is under so much scrutiny and a lot of it they, they put on their, themselves most of it really that people are willing to pin them to the wall and persecute them for everything and then go over the top and label them doing something that they're not doing okay and again, this is coming from someone that has no allegiance to Xbox whatsoever. I've moved on. Unless they do something fantastic, I've moved on. All right. So with that being said, um, placeholder gate is where a couple of accounts on Twitter that are supposed to represent two 
rumored games that are coming to Xbox either at launch or sometime during early development of the Xbox Series X, Fable and Perfect Dark, two Twitter placeholder accounts were created. Now, on the heels of that, uh, let me see if I can find the tweet here. On the heels of that, your homeboy, Tom Warren of The Verge, my good friend, my good friend Tom, who blocked me, <laughs> had noticed it and said, oh my goodness, these two accounts are out here. Be, you know, a gamer beware. Aaron Greenberg responded and said, I know everyone is hungry for news, but sorry to get your hopes up. These accounts have been inactive. Pay attention to that word, inactive for years. It's standard practice to secure social handles for our IP. Now, people are saying that this comment from Aaron Greenberg is a lie because in a subsequent tweet, the person that actually put a placeholder on a perfect dark game came, came forward and said, look, I did this. Um, I, after I heard about the Fable account, I created this perfect dark account. If Xbox is willing to talk to me, I'm willing to, you know, give it to them under whatever circumstance, you know, after the discussion. However, I'm the one that put a placeholder on this account. And I did it after I heard that the Fable account was created. Okay. So people are saying that because of this, that Aaron Greenberg said that the accounts have been active and the comment or the tweet can lead you to believe that they were responsible both for both accounts, that they were lying. And here's why I'm here to tell you that is wrong. And I understand where it came from. So first, let's go over where it came from and let's explain why it is wrong. And we're going to also contrast as to why it's wrong, why we need to focus on that being wrong because we gotta watch out for the competitors that are guilty of the same thing. All right. So first and foremost, let me, let me bring this down a little bit. So, uh, uh, someone on Twitter had asked Grant Aaron Greenberg a while, or asked Xbox a while ago about the 60 frames per second because there's been a lot of discussion about whether 60 frames per second will be standard. And Aaron Greenberg said, yes. 60 frames per second with the Xbox Series X generation will be standard output, but the architecture allows us to support up to 120 frames per second. Now, I'm gonna say this is a lie. Now, you could say that someone misspoke, but I think Aaron Greenberg was a little bit too smart for that. I think this is a lie because he should have known the difference between 60 hertz and 60 frames per second. He said the, and then he also said the output. So the reason why I say that is uh, later in a subsequent article, the same Tom Warren from The Verge, senior in the COG article was confirmed. Senior editor at The Verge, Tom Warren, stated on Twitter that the Xbox Series X games won't run at 60 frames per second standard output. Microsoft tells me ultimately it's up to the individual developers to determine how they leverage the power and the speed of the Xbox Series X. And I find that peculiar that Aaron Greenberg would do that on the heels of Stadia getting lambasted when their head of gaming, Phil Harrison, said something similar in 2019. It was misunderstood and it, it caused a lot of ire to this day of this recording that Stadia is having to deal with. He went and did the exact same thing. They, they listened, they got their ears to the ground, they know what's going on. They were looking to deceive right here and it didn't work. It fell, it fell, fell apart and it fell apart real quick because uh, Tom Warren called them out on it. So with all that said, that was a lie. However, just because Xbox lied in that incident, just because they may not make your favorite box anymore, or just because MM2K doesn't like the direction they're going into and he thinks that they're not being transparent and open-minded about everything, I am not willing to call everything they do as a lie. Do as a lie, okay? I'm not willing to do that, okay? Why am, not, why am I not willing to do that? Because the word lie has a textbook definition. Let's go back a little bit. The textbook definition of the word lie is to make an untrue statement with intent to deceive. Okay, so if we go back to Aaron Greenberg's comment about 
a placeholder gate. He says, I know everyone is hungry for news, but sorry to get your hopes up. These accounts have been inactive for years. It's standard practice to secure social handles for IP. Nowhere does he say, he says the accounts are inactive. Well, no, no, before I go there, nowhere does he say, we secured the social handles for our IP. He's just talking blanketly. He said, it's standard to practice to secure social handles for our IP. He didn't say which ones. He's just talking vague. But he's being a little misleading to prey upon your inclination to assume. That is corporate doublespeak. But all corporate doublespeak is not lying. They're not synonymous. Okay. And the reason why I bring that up and the reason why the reason why it's important to take note of that is because again, in order for you to lie, yes. Do, is there some deceit there? Yes, but you have to make an untrue statement. That checkbox has to be has to be marked off as well. And there's nothing in this statement that he made which is false. Yes, it is standard that they secure social handles for their IP. He didn't say that Xbox secured those social handles for their IP. And he, as far as those accounts being inactive, people made assumptions on the, 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 the context that he meant for the word active. Let me tell you the context that he was applying here, being out of use. So whether they was created or not, they're simply out of use. That's the context of the word inactive that he was using. Now, many people may listen to that and they may say, MM2K, he's playing semantics. That's not cool. You're absolutely right. But it's not a lie. Lying has a textbook definition. Let's go back to it. To make an untrue statement with intent to deceive. Okay? And here's the problem. I get where this came from. Let's just do this in chronological order. I get where this came from. Like I said, and Greenberg did lie about the 60 frames per second. You know what I'm saying? And then he got busted by Tom of The Verge. Now, we had somebody else from Xbox. Um, The guy's name is Jason Ronald, all right? Program, uh, um, he's head of program manager, or director of program management. He came on IGN and talked about Xbox Series X capabilities. He was asked explicitly about all games that are first party coming to Xbox Series X being Xbox Series X enhanced, whether they're on Xbox One or Xbox Series X. And he dodged the question and he was called out for it, but he wasn't lying, okay? He was not lying. He just dodged the question. He wasn't being transparent, which isn't good for Xbox at all, especially for the place that they're in and how much ground they got to make up, but he didn't lie, okay? And it's important that we understand that. So even though here, we know there's been a history of lying. Number one, they didn't lie here. Number two, Xbox isn't mutually, it, lying isn't, when it does happen, is it mutually exclusive to Xbox? Let me give you prime examples of when other people have lied, but then they have not been transparent in other avenues. Sony. Now, remember way back when, when it was the whole cross-play Fortnite thing and someone asked Jim Ryan, now the head of the whole operation, the whole kit and caboodle, they had asked Jim Ryan, why aren't you doing cross-play? Jim Ryan simply said, because we want to protect the kids. Like he was part of Wu-Tang. That was a goddamn lie. However, subsequent things that he's talked about, about we don't want to put our launch titles in um, in PlayStation now because we want to cherish them and treat them with care. That was a deceptive comment to make it seem like that they're ne that they're not looking at day and date at all, and their games will never go day and date. When we know we got that slide that hints towards other otherwise. Again, deceptive, not transparent, but not a lie. Also, as far as Miles Morales Spider-Man game, they've been all over the place. It, it, the, 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 the tension of being deceptive the, 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 That tension was so thick You could cut it with a knife And PlayStation had to go and say explicitly We were not trying to be deceptive <laughs> If you gotta come out and say We weren't trying to be deceptive You were trying to be deceptive 
But again, did they lie? No, they didn't lie. As a matter of fact, one person misspoke and made the situation seem worse than what it was. He said it was DL, it, it was an expansion or something like that. When it's a, it's a set alone ex expansion, but they didn't lie. So everybody does it, y'all. Everybody does it. It's just with Xbox, they're under more scrutiny because they're in last place and people are looking at them and saying, you gotta do better. And that is true. I do agree with that sentiment. But again, what I don't agree with it's people calling things lies that are not lies because li the word lie is a textbook definition to make an untrue statement. And if you're going to use your emotions to overwrite textbook definitions, then guess who the real liar is? Look at the man in the mirror, <laughs> period. Again, you cannot have, you cannot take your emotion and have it supersede textbook definitions, AKA alternative facts. Alternative facts, when used with the intent to deceive, alternative facts are untrue statements, and when used in that manner, are lies. So again, don't call the guy a liar because he didn't lie and that makes you a liar, all right? Call it what it is. Corporate doublespeak, being deceptive, not being transparent. That helps the unsuspecting gamer parse this, these type of acts that are not good still, just still not good, but helps them parse them correctly and put them in a the proper bucket so they're aware whether the, the, the competing platform that they like or the platform that they do actually like is doing it. We want gamers to be informed. We don't want to caveat, caveat facts to support our favorite piece of plastic. Especially when they're not cutting us a goddamn check. Period. And that's it for your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, here's what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies. PHS Network. Hard Knock Digital Culture. And yes, the stadium does. With that said. Adios, people. You all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.